Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've broken out the green screen and the fake news studio again because I want to talk to you about salvage vehicles. And in particular, this 2020 MG ZS EV that's for sale at Copart. Doesn't look that bad actually, does it? Ah, okay, there's your problem. For those of you that don't know, Copart auction off salvage vehicles and uh, they do this all over the world. And, and, and in the UK at least, they are the primary place where if a vehicle's deemed to not be repairable or, or not economical to repair by an insurance company, it gets sold off via Copart to independent repairers, salvage dealers, etc., who will either try and fix it, put it back on the road, or they'll break it for parts find a car like this that's so new that's been written off with what doesn't actually look like that bad damage it's quite an interesting prospect isn't it could actually be quite viable to buy this cheap fix it up get it back on the road or it could be a good source of parts parts are pretty hard to come by for new cars in general definitely ones that are a little bit less mainstream um, like mgs in general but certainly the zsev as well sales have been quite strong but there's not exactly tens of thousands of them on the road are there Let's have a look at the listing and you can tell me, was this a car that you would buy? Well, this is the Copart listing for its 2020 MG ZS exclusive and in the description here it confirms that it is electric, so it is the ZS EV. And as you can see the brunt of the damage does seem to be on that passenger side door. And it's pretty well caved in, but the rest of the car does look pretty straight. You know. It's hard to tell. It's always hard to tell what damage will be lurking behind that door, and if the B pillar is kinked, then you're going to have quite a time trying to straighten that up and and make it good, and it will cost a lot more money to fix. But on the face of it, you know, if you chuck a door on that, it should be fine. Really, that simple, I'm sure. But it doesn't look too bad, and of course, the rest of the car looks absolutely immaculate, and it should do. It's only got two thousand seven hundred and seventy miles on the clock, so you definitely wouldn't be expecting to find any nasty surprises. The interior looks good as well, you know, a bit dusty, you could do with a clean, but I'm sure it's been sitting around for a while whilst the insurance paperwork goes through and all that kind of stuff. But it does look pretty good. So you've got the additional information here, and this is where it gets a little bit worrying, is that it says that the dashboard warning light's eliminated for transmission fault. Now, when we look at the picture of the dash, all we see is this warning, vehicle is in running mode, please power it off before leaving. And that basically just tells you if you open the door when it's in ready mode, that it's still actually running, the ignition is still on, because obviously it's an EV, there's no engine noise, uh, to stop you from leaving it in that state where someone could just jump in and drive off. And, you know, that isn't a warning light and certainly doesn't indicate a transmission fault. There's no other warnings on the dash. So I'm not actually that sure it'll be that bad, but part of me wonders if, Maybe the 12 volt battery is a little bit low. I mean, it doesn't look it here right enough, but in the yard have been a bit confused. I, I don't know, but I certainly wouldn't think it'll have gone from running and driving absolutely fine to uh, having a, a major problem that's going to basically write the car off again, but mechanically, just in the time it's been sitting around, you know, going through insurance and, and all that kind of stuff. It certainly looks in good enough order. I really do think you'd be taking a gamble buying this, though. I mean, that damage could be easy to fix or it could be quite expensive. The, was a, there was a post about this on the MGEV Owners Club Facebook group where they actually, the person that actually owned this car when it was written off uh, said that their insurer had said that there was damage to the B pillar and potential damage to the battery at housing as well. But, you know, that I could believe there'd be damage to the B pillar but I'm not so sure about the battery. I mean, certainly you've got that view of the underside there. Now that'll be a plastic undertray but Nothing looks to be particularly bent or broken or out of order and you'd think the plastic would break first. So it doesn't look too bad. But I think you, you'd be paying your money and taking your chances. It's deemed to be a Category S repairable structural. So there are two categories of write-off. One's S structural and N non-structural. That, that would imply that this has a, it was more difficult to repair than if it were a Category N. But then some insurance assessors make that up as they go along. So... You can't really rely on that. I think the best thing to do would be to have a look at this car in person 
I don't even know if that's possible at the moment at Copart or if they're closed to, to sort of viewing and stuff because of COVID-19 and it's basically you bet online, you win, you own it, you go and pick it up. I don't know. Current bid showing at 6,300. I don't know if that's the starting bid or not. It's not clear. So it may well be that actually this is, it's not had any bids yet. I don't know. And I mean, at that kind of money, it's an absolute bargain, isn't it? The battery alone will be worth seven, eight grand. That's before you get into any of the other parts you could take off of this car. You know, certainly anything on it that's not damaged looks to be absolutely perfect. And there'll be a real shortage of these body panels and parts around at the moment because these are new cars. There won't be very many of them around that have been damaged. Um, and one, but ones that are damaged, if people want to repair them a bit cheaper than sort of the full insurance body shop treatment, they need parts from somewhere. Could be a very good source of parts, even for a spare set of wheels. I mean, I haven't seen any of these wheels for sale anywhere. Could be a good option if you need winter tires. You know, get a spare set of wheels, put winter tires on them. Happy days. So actually, just breaking it for parts could be a nice little earner, and you could use the battery pack for like home energy storage or you know, put it in a different vehicle for, for an EV conversion, something like that. I'm sure the battery and the motor you could use for conversion. So it doesn't necessarily need to live on as a, a fully working car. And that, I think, is the decision you'd need to make. Is is this worth actually buying and repairing? Or is it better off being broken for parts? One thing I think you need to consider is if you do repair it, the warranty will be void. MG won't stand behind the, the new car warranty, and that includes the, the drivetrain and battery warranty. Uh, it specifically states in the terms and conditions of the warranty that cars that have been a, deemed a total loss by an insurance company like this one has um, will not have any warranty anymore. So if you buy this, say you buy this for 10, 12 grand, you spend a few grand fixing it up and then the motor packs up or the battery's getting a bit dodgy, MG will be like, it's nothing to do with us, we're not getting involved. That's a very real concern you'll need to think about. But it's definitely interesting. You don't see many of these coming through the salvage auctions. And if you've bought one of these and fixed it up, please do let me know because I imagine that was a real challenge. Even just getting parts, getting technical information, I'm sure it was pretty difficult. I'd be really interested to hear from you if that is the case. It's an apparently repairable car with what doesn't look like too bad damage. Obviously, there are some questions over how structural the damage might be, whether there might be damage to the, the battery, uh, that transmission fault that's mentioned in the listing you know that could could be could turn out to be something pretty bad but it's unlikely i mean if the car was working before it was crashed into which uh, you know we've got no reason to believe that it wasn't then i find it hard to believe that it suddenly developed a terminal fault so i think if you can deal with the bodywork it's probably not too bad how much do you think it'll sell for would you buy it let me know in the comments for me, I think for now I've got enough electric vehicles going on, um, especially given I've still got that £400 Axum kicking around. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the video. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I'll give it a pass for now, but if I was a bit less busy and had the time to, to try and effect a repair, who knows, might be worth a cheeky bid. That's all we've got time for. Thanks very much for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe if you like what you see, and I'll see you on the next one.